I'm Brian Barnes, and I'm a senior lecturer in the philosophy department here at UofL. I'm also the director and developer of UofL's Echo Reps program. This video is intended to give faculty ideas about how to incorporate sustainability into your courses. I have a few suggestions based upon my own interdisciplinary background as a teacher and a student. Many of these suggestions will cause you and your students to connect with Echo Reps and other local organizations that care about sustainability. First, you could decide on a definition of sustainability for use in your courses. There are many sustainability theorists out there, probably even in your own discipline. You could research that point of view, or you could begin thinking about definitions put forth by UofL's own Justin Mogg, or maybe the sustainability definition from the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency. Once you've established your definition, offer a class lecture regarding your view of it. You could also use the UofL Echo Reps video, What is Sustainability? to give your students an introduction to the two definitions above. That video is available on YouTube and at louisville.edu slash sustainability. If you believe that lecture is a poor way to present sustainability, how about letting the students decide? You could let students do research on sustainability within your discipline, then have them present their work to the class or in a paper. What are the historical roots of the contemporary sustainability movement? The politics? Its rhetoric? How about sustainability in design? Or a sustainable approach to making your art? How are leaders in our discipline applying sustainability principles like biomimicry, resilience, transition, or panarchy? What are the implications of thinking sustainably in my discipline? As with so many well-researched student projects, we might learn a great deal about sustainability from them. Students could begin their research with sustainability videos and workshops offered by the Echo Reps program at UofL. Professors should check out louisville.edu slash sustainability for dates of Echo Reps and other sustainability-oriented activities on campus like Sustainability Week. You could require student participation at on-campus sustainability conferences like the Bluegrass Bioneers Conference or the Campus Community Partnerships for Sustainability Conference. Events like these will surround students with a community of thinkers oriented toward topics in sustainability. Is the student research paper or presentation played out for you? Then how about letting the students work it out amongst themselves? Ask them to research an aspect of sustainability that's relevant to your purposes in class, then break them into triads or quads for discussion and comparison. Students can attempt to accurately paraphrase one another's positions in order to develop intellectual empathy, to ask questions of depth and relevance in order to develop the habit of fair-mindedness, or to explore intellectual integrity. And finally, to engage in discussions and argument where evidence and confidence in a process of reasoning win the day, rather than biases and untested assumptions. Maybe students could recruit speakers or use research from UofL's Echo Reps program to support their side of the issue. Perhaps you want your students to get outside the classroom. They could always volunteer to compost on Sundays, to gather coffee grounds throughout the week, to work at the Garden Commons, or to find some other activity to do through the Echo Reps website. Just add louisville.edu slash sustainability to your syllabus or online class resources to point students in the right direction. You could also identify examples of sustainability around town and take a field trip. There are green roofs at Brown Foreman's downtown campus and at UofL's business school. And there's also one on the Belvedere. Arrange visits to Dismas Charities Algonquin Parkway campus to breaking new grounds, or to Americana Community Center for students to view composting in action, with or without worms. These groups also have their own community gardens, and your group could help out with the work. For kinesthetic learners, this is a grand opportunity. Want more? Try talking to Steve Paratus at Fresh Start Grower Supply about sustainable solutions for any aspect of home agriculture. Visit Ramsey's Cafe on the World and ask them about their farm-to-table program with Raising Hope Organic Farm. Find out what Heine Brothers Coffee does with its coffee grounds. You could also ask many organizations about their sustainable business models, purchasing plans, or hiring practices. Check out the student-led gardens at Fern Creek High School and UofL's Garden Commons. Find ways to tie these into your curriculum or discipline. No time for all that? Why not bring sustainability into your classroom? Vermiculture is an entrepreneurial path these days, so why not ask your business students to keep some red wigglers alive with their own trash for the semester? They can live in your classroom in a variety of containers. 
Maybe you could raise worms just to watch the process in your botany class. Maybe your agriculture class could grow its own pollutant-free soil this way. What about setting up an aquaponics system in your, in your engineering seminar? You could think about growing plants, gathering rainwater, inviting speakers, or conducting surveys about sustainable ideas and action. Bring it into the classroom in your own ways. Take one idea in sustainability, like zero waste, closed loop systems, resilience, or peak oil, and link it to a text in your literature or history class. What are the important ways to think about these systems? Can we apply a sustainable mindset to the concerns and problems of human life, whatever the discipline? How can sustainable thinking influence characters, settings, or motivations in important texts? To what degree have earlier thinkers, writers, and other artists been motivated by concern for sustainability in their work and their lives? You get the idea. A sustainable approach doesn't have to be something more for you to do, some add-on that provides no extra value. Sustainability can be useful in many ways, and the only limitations come from the interest, creativity, and energy of the professor. Make sustainability a way of approaching the content in the course, not some extra piece that you have to work in. In this way, sustainability can become valuable for your classroom teaching, your students' learning, and for the thoughtful inclusion of sustainable thinking and action across our communities. If the Echo Reps can help you in any way as you design your syllabus or conduct your classes, please reach out to us. At UofL, sustainability matters. To get involved with Echo Reps or to get more ideas about sustainability connections on campus, visit louisville.edu slash sustainability. Thanks for your time.